Uh, what is up, everyone? Uh, first off, to today's um, word for sign language, it is when. So, like, if you wanted to ask a question, you could be like, if you wanted to ask a question dealing with time, you would start off with when, or you would have that somewhere in there. Best way to think about it is, you know, this is the sun, this is the earth, one day around, boom. Good job. Thank you. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, goodness. All right, so there's this phenomena that I used to actually ignore on the internet where people used to be like, why is everybody filming everything? Everything always has to be filmed nowadays. And I understand kind of, you know, like I, at one time I ignored the sent I ignored this because I sort of understand the sentiment on both perspectives, but I, you know, I was kind of on the fence about it because, um, I didn't, I didn't care about other people's like, you know, perspective. It's like, Oh, every single time something goes on, people got to pull their phone out. And it's like, once upon a time, it was hard to get things on camera. Once upon a time, it was hard to get things recorded. It was hard to, it was like, you know, if you weren't rich or famous, you were just completely non-existent. So it's kind of cool to know that, you know, in this day and age, you know, where people of all classes, of all financial statuses, of all kind of walks of life are capable of being able to, you know, get their stories told in some way you know like they might not be you know we might not become rich we might not become famous but at least we'll be heard even in the smallest sense you know and that's kind of like the thing that really kind of stresses me out like people are, the the backlash about social media is almost always oh you know like not everybody needs to know everything about you anyway and it's like going but what if some people do you know like nobody is meaningless you know what I mean? Like, it, we all serve some kind of purpose. We all serve some kind of... Our existence is valid in some way, shape, form, or fashion. No matter who we are, no matter, like, how we approach any situation, we we matter. You know what I mean? And, and now we're starting to show how much we matter. And I feel like people who are used to the idea of stuff not mattering are getting a little bewildered about the fact that we're starting to... We don't have to fight for relevancy anymore. It's like we now are, even if it's to just a small audience, we're relevant to someone. And people are like, no, you're not. You're not famous. And it's like, it doesn't matter if I'm famous, dude. It's like, like it doesn't like fame don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It's like now we get a chance to tell our stories. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, just recently there was a video of a politician, a GOP politician, who was uh, uh, partaking in some recreational pharmaceuticals in his automobile. <laughs> he was he was doing crack in his car, man. It was like, and I think and I'm, I'm reading the comments, and at some point, some people were like, he shouldn't be recorded. He shouldn't be on camera. You know, why are y'all recording this? Why are y'all filming this? Why did y'all put this online? And it's like, this is relevant. <laughs> Like, this is relevant information. Back in the day, back in the day, it was hard to, like, know for a fact. If these, like, if, 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 if politicians or anybody was doing anything ridiculously wrong, we just wouldn't know until it went to the news. And if you didn't get the news or didn't really care to watch the news, you probably wouldn't have gotten this kind of information. Or that news would have never broke out of the sea that it was based in. This is now, like, a national story. Like, we now have, you know, a geo... Like, it, the funniest thing about this is that, like, for me anyway, it's like these people have been, like, challenging drug usage for years. Like, they've been talking, you know, the war on drugs, right? You know, it's like... And it's like, suddenly you find out that one of your guys is doing this stuff. <laughs> it's like, y'all couldn't just make the drugs legal for you guys to use? Also, what is a politician, like, absolutely going through... That they need to partake in that anyway. Like, it, you're a local politician. You got the most cush job on the planet. You can literally do nothing and still get a payday. Like, because people don't focus on local politics. So it's like, you know, like, how stressed out are local politicians that they need to, uh, unless he's not stressed out and he was just like, you know what, I feel like having me some fun today. It's like, my guy, you could have done this in your house. <laughs> you could have done this, like, you know, in your car, bro. 
out in public, man. That's funny. That's funny. I think the thing that really kind of stressed me out, though, was that, like, you know, the cops were... The thing that stressed me out, though, was that the cops were, like, ridiculously... Um, they were tame with them, you know what I'm saying? You know, they did, they, they, you know, like maybe it was be like you, you can say whatever you want to, but if this dude was of the melanated variety, it probably would have been a, a different scene. So, you know, that part kind of stresses me out a little bit, but also it's just, but it just proves that like there are, you know, it proves that surveillance is necessary in some cases, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, probably not in everything, but I feel like surveillance among, like, our political peers is, like, you know, like, I feel like the higher, up, I will always say this, the higher up the political thing you go, the more surveillance you should have. You know what I mean? Like, we should be, like, like people, like, we should be able to know everything about our local politicians. Our politicians in general, but our local politicians especially, because we don't. <laughs> We just don't. I feel like the president of the United States should also have their own reality show. Like we should be able to know everything that's going on, because like if we, because like there's certain because like you know like secrecy. I'm convinced secrecy is like I'm all up for privacy. You know what I'm saying? There's some things that some people just shouldn't know, but there's a diff I feel like there's a difference between privacy and secrecy. You know what I mean? Privacy I feel like protects you from something that could hurt you. No, 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 I feel like privacy is something that protects you as a person, whereas secrecy is something that just protects the secret. It, it, it's weird context, I know, but just bear with me here. Like, uh, for example, like, uh, privacy would be like, you know, I don't want you knowing what's going on, like, you know, in my room, in my personal space. I feel like I should be allowed to have a place where I could just do things that I want to do without, you know, being... You know, like, and that that's perfectly valid. But if one of those things include, I don't know, if one of those things include, you know, like harming another person, now you're just protecting your secret. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's complicated, I know, but like one thing I kind of don't like about a lot of, I, one thing I kind of don't like about a lot of words that have the same meaning is that like we tend to use those words interchangeably. And when we do, we tend to kind of like mess up the difference between what they mean. Like witch, I just recently learned that a witch is not a, a, a woman who does magic. I want to say a witch is technically just somebody who partakes in these things, but it's like it's, it's, diff it's a different class. So there's like there's witch, there's warlock, there's all these other things. And it's like, and it's like people bastardize the term and turn it into female magic user and it's like no that's not it so you know like darn you america but you know i do feel like you know like it, it feels like while there should while there are similarities i feel like there's nuances within words and etymology in general you know like that we kind of just tend to ignore or bastardize or just like you know manipulate in such a way and we just should not do that you know, it's kind of like, you know, intellect and wisdom and, uh, you know, just being smart, which is <laughs> kind of like segue into the next thing I want to talk about. I don't believe that bullies are nerds. First off, nerd, I feel like nerd has always been kind of like synonymous with being smart. And the problem is, is that like we don't necessarily we can't categorize what qualifies as being smart because a lot it's been proven on multiple occasions that being smart doesn't necessarily mean that you can recite the um, the entire chemical element table by heart with your eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's more than that. You know what I'm saying? There's like there's a I think it's what is it like you uh, there's ways you gather knowledge. There's ways you apply knowledge. There's ways you retain knowledge. And I, there's other ways too, but the thing is that like everybody, everybody gets information in different ways. Everybody retains their information in different ways. Not everybody can um, exemplify the information that they're provided the same way. So it's like we don't know what smart is. So because we don't know what smart is, being a nerd can literally be be anything. So I personally categorize knowledge by. Um, uh, by um, by empathy, by by people skills, by how you interact socially, because you know once again anybody can retain like if you is like you know if you can create 
you know, if you can create a giant robot, but you're using that giant robot to torment other people, I don't think that you're a smart person. I just think you're a highly functioning person with a disorder. You know what I mean? Because we're all suffering out here and you want to mess with people. You know, it's, it's wild. And also, the thing, that, my thing is that, like, if you're going, like, you know, I'm all about morality. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about, like, you know, my whole thing is that, like, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to, we live in a world where people are just basically saying, oh, well, I'm going to be the bad guy to somebody anyway, so I may as well just embrace being the bad guy in general. And it's like, no, you, you, you don't have to do that. It's like, if you're going to be the bad guy to people, at least be the bad guy to bad people. You know what I mean? Like, I say all the time, like, I don't, I don't think that, that's why I don't think bullies are smart people, because you're not, because you're, you know, you, like, it, it doesn't take a lot to be empathetic. It doesn't take a lot to, you know, treat somebody with respect. And, you know, if you can do all, you're telling me you can do all of these things, but this one simple thing you can't do. Like, imagine, you know, somebody being able to tell you every word in the encyclopedia by order. You could ask them, hey, what's the 995th word in this book? And they could tell you that word. You know what I'm saying? But they also can't, you know, you know, they, they also can't, they want put a, they want to put ketchup on their fries, but they can't put ketchup on their fries. You know what I mean? Are you, I mean, it's like, you know, you're going to think that there's something wrong with that person. You know what I mean? But is that's that's kind of like how I see bullies. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not. I don't think that you're a knowledgeable. I, I think you're a knowledgeable person, but I don't think that you're a smart person. You know what I'm saying? I think that you can carry information, but I don't think you understand simple concepts. So, um, so like, and then there's somebody who is like, well, what if I'm a bully who bullies bullies? And it's like you're not a bully then. You're just a decent human being who empathizes with the victim to know that what is happening is wrong. You're smart enough to know that the situation is wrong and you're willing to act accordingly. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't make you a bully. That just makes you a, a normal person. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Uh, so it's like, you know, that's what I'm saying though. It's like, cause it's not complicated to empathize with other people, but it, the way I see it is if you're going to like, it's just like, you know, if you're a bully, you know, if you're going to be mean to people, if you're going to be the villain, why not just be a villain towards people who are actually evil i mean we got republicans like right here you know we got republicans we got white supremacists we got you know predators we got uh internet scammers we got all of these terrible people who do terrible things often and you're going to pick on the fat person because they're fat like how i can't think you're a nerd after that <laughs> i can't think you're smart after that you know what i'm saying like, too many evil people out here for you to, like, make miserable, and you're choosing to make somebody miserable just because you don't like how they look physically. Yeah, that ain't smart to me, buddy. Um, uh, Another thing, too. Uh, okay, so I, I thought I had something. I thought I had something. You know, obviously white, orange, green, red. Look at red. I actually kind of got red a little bit. and uh, And that's blue and yellow <sighs> one day one day um moving along yeah but that's what i'm saying though it's like you know we live in a world where like you know i feel like things do need to be surveyed you know not just for the the, the relevance of normal people but also because like history is history is more than just rich people and famous people and successful people and martyrs and stuff like that. Rich history is normal people. History is regular human beings just trying to make it out here. You know what I mean? Because all those normal people, some of them could be related to you by blood. Which is why I always say learn about genealogy. But also challenge Blackrock or Blackstone or whatever that thing is called. Because, like, I just looked up, you know, the, the company that bought Ancestry.com. And they're called, like, what, Blackrock or Blackstone, which sounds like a supervillain organization. I looked them up and they're asset managers or what is it like? And it's like, asset means things. Manager means person in control of. So their company is basically people that control things. It's almost like these companies and these businesses are actively trying to just 
Like they're, they're basically saying we want to oppress you, <laughs> and it's like, no, you're not. You, you won't. That's bad. Don't do that. You know, I don't know what the company is called though. Right off, but or, uh, BlackRock. You think so? Yep. I'm gonna look it up anyway. All right, uh, that is it. Um, Y'all be easy out there. Love, peace, happiness, and safety to every single person out there. And, um, you know, once again, uh, learn something. Practice your genealogy. Um, help me with this. Be easy, y'all.